Having trouble keeping up with the accelerated life-altering changes occurring on the planet? Reporting to you from the new Earth, the newly forming world reality of vibrant health and well-being, united community, and personal evolution. Tune in to learn how to update your internal coding and biocircuitry to the rapidly shifting consciousness so that you too can become a divine human. New Earth Central is the brainchild of Meg Benedicte, a pioneer in quantum vortex healing and energetic activation, weaving together ancient spiritual knowledge, quantum physics, and vibrational healing. Every show is dedicated to promoting a holistic lifestyle that supports all life on the planet. Additional services are available at our website, NewEarthCentral.com. And now, here's your host, Meg Benedicte. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. We're so excited to be with you here today, and it's a powerful day. Boy, these eclipse energies are just like crackling in the field, and so we're going to do some good work here with the eclipse energies as well as the Pleiadian light infusion. So we're going to kind of focus on both. They're very different energies, but they're both uh, supporting us today, assisting us today. So We'll dive right in in a minute here, but first let me bring on my beautiful co-host, Manette Mays. Welcome, Manette. Hey there, Sunshine. So good to hear your voice. So good to join everybody in this meditation today. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Yes, thank you for showing up here. It's uh, it's the end of the week. It's a Friday, and we are celebrating you know, this new eclipse season that's starting today. And so before we get into the actual activations, we want to welcome, of course, all of our loyal starseeds who have been meeting with us every month for years. We are so grateful for all your contributions to helping build this new earth. So just oh, love and blessings for you to being here. And then we also have some new names I noticed in the registration. So welcome if you are new to the show. Uh, we love bringing you in as well because the more the more of us out there really working in this newer timeline the more powerful it gets the more grounded it gets and so let's go over the format of the show for those who are new joining us here Minette we have um, kind of a couple stages uh, in the format of the show first I will start off with just a short summary of the energies that we're going to focus into and then we focus half of the activations on our own personal transformation and our own healings and as well our own intentions and visions for the future so you'll have plenty of time to focus on yourself we'll even go into uh, three four minutes of silence so you can really power up your personal intentions and visions uh, and then we'll switch and focus on our global work and so this is where we work with our beloved Gaia and our family of light and help influence the planetary field with all of our love our light and our intentions as well and so we kind of sec- separate it into two two pieces personal intentions and then global intentions once we've finished with the global activations we've created such a powerful force field that we open up to you if you want to contribute your global intentions as well and Manette why don't you tell them how they can reach you sure if you have a global intention that you would like me to read out loud after the main meditation please email it to support at newearthcentral.com that's support at newearthcentral.com I'll be happy to read them for you Um, and if you have them you want to try to get them in as soon as possible so the meditation is over sometimes we close and some of the meditation the um, intentions weren't able to get to us in time Um, but we'll wait for you (laughs) yeah and uh, if you want to dial in that's uh, for those especially coming in through the United States and Canada you may be calling in on the telecast if you'd like to contribute your global intentions through the phone please dial one that lets me know to bring you on the air and then you will will um, add in your global intentions as well okay so let's go ahead and get started and so I'll we'll check back with you Minette after we're done with the activations okay okay <clears throat> Okay, so today, oh, 
you may have felt it, boy, because it was a really strong lunar eclipse at 27 degrees Taurus. It happened oh, probably almost um, 10 hours ago, uh, but it was interesting because it's it was the longest eclipse we've had in our lifetime. It lasted over three hours, and so that is significant. That's telling us that this light is really powering right now all day. So this is also the first eclipse that's happening on the Taurus Scorpio nodal access point. We're going to have eclipses coming in the next two years in either Taurus or Scorpio. So today's the first one. And if you know anything about Taurus, uh, it is an earth sign. It's an earth element. It's feminine and it's all about being receptive. So we're going to tune into those elements of Taurus. It gives us form. It gives us structure. It gives us foundation in life. It's kind of what is our, you know, more of our earthly grounded foundation. And so we're helping as we come together here uh, in doing these activations every time is to uh, transition into the new earth timeline. So think of it like you're forging your new earthbound foundation in the new earth timeline for living in unity consciousness. This is what we're all, this is our goal. This is what we're all working towards. Also, at this time of the year, between November 16th and the 19th, our solar system lines right up with the Palladian star system. And so it's called the Palladian lineup. And so we're going to work with the Palladian energy, this pure, beautiful light that's coming from the Pleiades into our solar system today. So we're going to work with that as well. If you're not familiar too much with the, the Palladian star seeds and the Palladian agenda, they're here helping enhance spiritual development and raising the consciousness on the planet and also attaining more harmony amongst the galactic races. So we're going to work with their beautiful loving light. I always see it kind of like a lavender violet light. Um, and they're also here to help assist us in during this time of what's called the golden age of transformation. So kind of keep that in mind as well because we are in transformation right now. <laughs> okay, we're also connecting to all the beautiful global meditations that are happening all around the world today, uh, honoring this powerful Taurus lunar eclipse and the Palladian lineup. Okay, so with that in mind, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started. So a couple pointers if you're new to this work. I'm, this is Metatron's modality. It's called Quantum Access. I'll walk you through the steps to activate the quantum vortex around your body and field. Um, I'm very, very conscious of personal boundaries, so we're all going to be activating our own vortex around each of our own fields. Even though we're working together as a group, we're uniting more in the higher realms as what's called kind of the conscious mind. So we're, we're uniting our visions and our intentions at that level but here in earth around our physical bodies we have our own personal space and our own quantum vortex uh, spinning around us if you can have your feet on the floor as we activate the vortex just so you can ground into it with your feet then after we get this running you're welcome to lie back and relax back also because this is a, a, a Mediterranean technique it's very advanced and it's helping us learn how to use more of our super consciousness. So this is more of the right brain. This is our visualization mind. This is how we access the higher dimensional field. Um, our, it is our intuitive brain, our psychic brain. And so we're more used to using that left brain, which is our thinking mind. So we're, if you find you kind of float back over and you're starting to think about what you need to do later today or whatever, just stop, breathe, and refocus back more into your right brain brain third eye using more of your intuitive psychic brain okay we are grounding so that we stay in our bodies none of none of this is about astral traveling this is about being very grounded spirituality staying grounded in the core grounded in your body but then using your soul super consciousness to travel through the galaxy because we are going to be traveling. We're going to be going to the galactic center. The vortex works as a time machine. It helps spin us through space-time. And so we can pop in, kind of um, think of it like you're, you know, you're bi-locating. You're going to pop into different places with your super consciousness. Okay, all right, let's go ahead now. So let's take a couple deep breaths. Just coming down from that thinking mind. 
and just coming more down into your feeling body into the core center tuning into your heart and your breath deepening slowing your breath you'll notice I use my breath to move energy in and out so using your breath <sighs> grounding in spinning in coming more into your center and then we'll continue to extend our energy down the leg channels to the feet feet chakras and locking onto your grounding base I always see mine as a, a crystal base or crystal slab and then linking right into the crystalline grid of our new earth I, you can envision roots of light extending from your feet chakras into the ley lines of the crystalline grid getting nice and connected rooted grounded uh, there we go now let's connect to spirit so from our heart we connect to divine mother father source creator connect to your master soul presence and your soul family your soul group calling in your spirit team of angels and guides and master teachers the shamans the elders the wise ones your protectors and have them circle around you as you're working we connect to Gaia and to mother nature and the nature spirits calling in the de devas the fairies the elementals of air fire water earth and ether so we can do the alchemy with Archangel Metatron Metatron is here he's embedding Metatron's cube sacred geometry template under your feet and your grounding base if you're not familiar with Metatron's cube it's made up of 12 circles around a center 13th circle so we're going to step in the center give our energy to it give our light to it turn it on there we go <clears throat> and those 12 circles start to rise up as pillars of light all around the body and aura and they're humming and vibrating with the 12 harmonic tones of our universe we hear this with our human ears as the sound of ohm so if you can envision those 12 pillars pulsing and vibrating and ohm from <clears throat> outside in it's coming into your core you're receiving the ohm vibration into your center now those 12 pillars are responding to those harmonic tones of ohm and they begin to rotate if you're looking from like your head down to your feet it's going to rotate right to left anti-clockwise around the body and the aura so we're getting them spinning now as they begin to accelerate they go faster and faster those 12 pillars begin to blend and merge and become a vortex spinning of crystal diamond white light Whew. and there we go it's starting to spin up faster and faster it's increasing your energy faster increasing your frequencies faster and it's also starting to open your field up and out into the higher dimensions expanding spinning faster <sighs> opening out Whew. there we go and it's spinning even faster collapsing the veils collapsing the time barriers opening your field all the way out to the quantum level Whew. that's it let that ripple through you Whew. and that gives us access to both the physical realm and the non-physical realm the spiritual realm so let's start to focus inside into our energy body into the chakra pillar that runs right up the center of your energy body just focusing in and now we're going to bring what's called the resurrection spiral spiraling up from Metatron's cube at your feet up to the root chakra and spiraling all the way up your chakra pillar this is your channel so as you're spiraling anti-clockwise all the way up your channel you're opening your channel spiraling up to the top to the higher self at the top all the way up <sighs> Ooh, opening it up that's it great and then as you get up here into the higher dimensions you're connecting to your God self your higher self your master soul energy master soul presence I always do like a heart-to-heart -heart bond with my higher self but make that connection
and your soul is made of your signature light and your sound waves, your tones, your frequencies. And so now we're going to reverse and use your channel like an open receiver and begin to bring a big wave of your soul light and your soul frequencies coming down the channel, down through the crown, into the body, filling into all your physical chakras, your soul light, your soul frequencies, Ooh, all the way down to the lower chakras, into the root pelvic floor. Here we go. You're pulling your soul presence inside you, in your chakra channel. Whew. And you can use the spin momentum of the vortex to help move your energy vertically up and down, or we're also going to do clearings outwards, horizontally, so using the breath and using your vortex to move the energies. Okay, so let's go into the heart center. The heart center, this is like the main engine of your light body. So let's fill that heart crystal with more of your beautiful soul light. Just infusing. I always see the soul light as a more of a golden crystal and white light. Golden white light. Just filling into your heart crystal. Breathing it in. Crystals amplify light, they amplify frequency, electric, electricity, so you're starting to build more of your soul light current, your soul frequencies in your heart center, in your heart crystal, and it begins to look like a super radiant starburst in the chest there, in the heart. Whew. You're building more soul radiance in your heart, just like a, like a sun beaming your soul light, soul light rays, beautiful. Ah, oh, yes. It's growing stronger, amplifying. Okay, excellent. And now let's do our final step of establishing zero point coherence in the body, heart, mind, in the field. To do that, we're going to use the infinity of light and weave it left, right, horizontally at the heart center. And then add a second infinity of light, weaving around, looping around the left, right, brain hemispheres and the mind. Oh, just let them loop back and forth. They're unifiers, they're integrators. So you're starting to unify all your energy, pulling it into the center of the infinities where it all blends and unites and will tune into those centers of the infinities in the heart, body, and the mind. Oh. And there's no movement here. It's perfect stillness in the now. And it opens us to all that exists in the quantum field. So just a tuning into that zero point stillness in the infinity, in the heart and the mind. Yes, there we go. And it's starting to spread up and down the body. Just let it ripple through your whole being. Whew. Zero point coherence moving all the biosystems into zero point coherence. Yes, good. Moving the heart and mind as they're syncing up, linking up into zero point coherence. Whew. Yes, excellent. And as you begin to pulse and vibrate in coherence, it's starting to repel out. So we're going to do our first clearing, repelling out any non-coherence any negative polarized charge lifting up and off the physical body, emotional body, mental body, into the vortex spin, spinning it up to source light to transmute to light. Whew, you let it release out, spin out, into the light. Excellent. And let's do another flush of the crystal diamond light coming down your channel. This is the God light. Just let that crystal diamond light wash down the crown through the whole body like you're under a shower of purification light, crystal diamond light washing through you, cleaning up the nervous system and just flushing out any uh, anxiety or stress or worries of uncertainty, just letting that lift up and off the nervous system, cleaning it off the nerve endings into the vortex spin, into source light. <laughs> Woo, here we go. Let it release. <sighs> so bringing everything into that calm, peaceful space of order and balance and stillness inside you. 
and this is where we can do our activations. Okay, so first thing is we are going to use our quantum vortex as a time machine. So it can spin back into the past, it can spin into the future. Right now we're going to command it to start to spin back through thousands of years and we're going all the way back to the original Pyramid of Giza in Egypt, spiraling all the way back. We're going all together to enter into the ground floor of the Giza Pyramid and all gathering together in the center. You might feel the warm stones under your feet. You're just letting your super consciousness travel back in time into that, uh, into that environment, into the Pyramid of Giza. Okay, everyone's starting to come in. And this was built as a golden ratio frequency generator. This is how it was actually stabilizing the, the grids of the planet and the earth chakras and the sacred sites. And so as we're stepping into it where it was fully active as a frequency generator, linking up to the Orion Belt and to the other star systems around us, just tune into the pulse and hum and vibration of the pyramid frequency generator. It was built in the golden ratio angles. Okay, everyone kind of tuning in to the powerful vibration around us. And you're still in your vortex spin. And so when we're standing inside a golden ratio pyramid, it starts to propel our vortex upwards all the way up to the capstone of the Eye of Horus, following it up. We'll go all the way up to the top point of the pyramid. Whew where the universe is in front of us, Milky Way Galaxy, and we're connecting with our escorts, Archangel Metatron and Archangel Michael, who are going to travel with us to the great central sun, the central vortex of our Milky Way Galaxy. So this is the galactic center. I just kind of hook elbows on each side with Michael and Metatron, so go ahead and connect with your escorts. We're all going to go together. And we're still in our vortex, we're still in our spiral. And so as we begin to step off the earth plane, off the pyramid, our vortex opens a spiraling wormhole, taking us at the speed of light or faster directly to the galactic center, using your super conscious to travel whew, to that massive black hole spiraling vortex at the, the center of our galaxy. Whew, all right. We're going, traveling, starting to gather at that massive black hole. Now this spiraling vortex black hole is connected to a parallel spinning vortex white hole that opens to parallel universes, crystalline universes. So right where those two vortex funnels meet is a portal. It's a galactic portal. It's a gateway. It's a doorway to the multiverse. So we're going to go step in where those vortices meet, where their funnels connect, right at that portal. All right, everyone gathering in this galactic portal. And this is called the source field. It's a zero point field of popping virtual particles of electrons, of golden electrons, rising out of the field and dropping back in. So this is a very potent source field to work in. It's just kind of attuned to this vibrant field of all possibilities. And it's responding to our consciousness. It's responding to our visions. It's responding to our commands and intentions. So as we step into the source field, a crystalline stargate rises up and out of it in front of us. It's massive crystal stargate of source. So let's all step into the center of it. And attune to the energies. This is source light, source energy. Just allow it to infuse your entire being. Just allow the energy source energies to merge and flow through you. Ah, just breathe it in. Nourishing you, healing you, strengthening you, regenerating you. Source energy, source light. Ah, just breathe it in. Allow it to purify your energy. 
It's beautiful. Get a good fill. Source light, source energy. And as we merge into oneness with our beautiful source creator, we proclaim to the universe that we are sovereign beings. We complain out to the world, out to the galaxy, out to the universe in your heart and mind. Proclaim, I am all that I am. I am all that I am. And let it ripple out. And let it ripple back and receive it in. Oh, acknowledging the divine master soul that is you. Ah, there we go. And as we stand in this source field, now let's enter today's lunar eclipse and Pleiadian gateway. Oh, you might see the uh, lunar eclipse image above the mantle of the gateway. Just stepping inside it now so we can open and receive the infusion of celestial light. Oh, this lunar, full moon, lunar eclipse energies. Let that flow into you now. So we're attuning directly to the peak of the lunar eclipse that occurred about 10 hours ago. Just let it infuse you. So we're going to first work with the lunar eclipse energies. Do the activations first with the lunar eclipse energies. Now, lunar eclipse illuminates the hidden subconscious, and it, it actually affects the emotional self, our deeper feelings, and relationships. So this lunar eclipse allows hidden emotions and subconscious to be revealed in the light. So let's work with that, okay? You're utilizing the lunar eclipse energies to illuminate your inner emotional self to help us clear and release deep emotional trauma, pain, anger, grief. Just let it start to permeate into you, stream into you. Oh, just breathe it in. It's like you're shining this lunar eclipse spotlight into the depths of your being to illuminate all that is hidden, all that is ready to blend and unite and up-level into light and love. Just breathe it in, streaming the eclipse illumination light through your entire being. <sighs> Allow it to assist you. <sighs> and we command this lunar light to flesh up to the surface, deep inner emotions that may be stuck or hidden. We bring it into the light now. <sighs> That's it. Breathe deeply into it. Inhale light. Exhale emotional trauma and pain into the vortex spin. Ooh. Woo, there you go. Allow it to assist you. Allow it to work with you. Ooh. This is the longest eclipse in over 500 years. It lasted almost four hours. So this eclipse is a big self-reveal. Just allow the brilliant eclipse light permeate every fiber of your being. Allow all that you are to be revealed, to become conscious in the brilliant eclipse light. Ooh. Ooh, there you go. Allow all that is ready to be revealed to come into the light now. Ooh. Allow it to do the magic. Allow all that is ready to be released to let go into the light now. Still releasing. You might feel like layers of heaviness lifting off you, just lightening you up, lightening up your emotional body, lightening up your heart. 
lightening up your field. Whew, there goes another layer. Just letting it release into the vortex spin, going back to source light. <sighs> so when the mind unifies with the heart, we bypass the ego and we are tapping into a more mindful state of unification with our beloved soul, with source, with the universe. So just allow and breathe in the divine purification light to flow through your body, your aura, your cleansing and purifying your energetic vessel and your grounding foundation. Just a purification of your sacred vessel and your grounding foundation. But we're preparing it for another activation. This lunar eclipse in Taurus is an earth sign. It represents Mother Nature. It's feminine. It's receptive. But we also have Uranus in Taurus right now. It's forming that year-long square with Saturn. So we're experiencing great inner and outer transformation. And it may materialize in changes in your physical environment. It could be body changes. It could be financial changes. It could be where you're living, you know, changes in where you're living. These are all Taurus uh, uh, symbols. These are all parts of Taurus and Uranus in Taurus is infusing this lunar eclipse with revolutionary power to break free from old constrictions, old systems of abuse and limitation. Okay, so now we're going to work on this part of it. Focus on where you need to resolve and remove anything that impacts your safety, your security, your, your um, stability in your earthly existence. Just pause for a minute. Just focus on anything you need to resolve and remove. Impacts your safety, your security, or your stability. We're going to bring the light into that. Command these powerful eclipse energies, the light to remove any unstable foundations, situations, or connections in your life. This full moon eclipse is about completion. So just complete. And as you step away, you release the old unstable foundation at your feet and envision a new stable structure to support you. All right, <sighs> breathe out, exhale out, release out. Anything that is impacting your safety, security, and stability, we unlock from it, we disconnect from it, we bless it, we return it back to source light for transmutation complete. Whew. Woo, here we go. Okay, just letting it release. Exhale out, spin out, complete, back to source light. Whew. Releasing any old unstable systems or foundations. Whew. Woo, there's quite a bit more moving here. Just keep breathing it out, commanding it out, back to source light. You are completing with it. And as we let it go, and we let the history go, and we let the past go, and we let these old structures and systems and foundations go, envision a crystal base foundation under your feet, connecting you to the 12D crystalline grid of our new Earth timeline. This is the new foundation forming for to ground into, to support you. It's to provide daily support, security, safety, and stability in the new earth. Woo, let that go. Let it come in. Let it build. Let it connect you. Woo. We're in a very fast spin. You're in an upgrade. Woo. You're aligning and connecting to the new crystalline grounding foundation on the newer timeline so that you can become more grounded on a stable path of light going forward in the new earth unity consciousness. Whew. All right, that's spinning it again. Keep grounding it in, spinning it in, locking it in. This is we're committing to our new crystalline grounding platform, our new grounding foundation in the new earth. Whew. Ooh, it's still grounding in, spinning in, updating at your feet. It's providing security, safety, stability in your life. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, it's slowing down. The spin's slowing down. It's starting to take hold and integrate. This is the gift of the Taurus lunar e eclipse today. Now let's open and receive the gifts of the Pleiadian alignment. Okay, let's keep going. Now this Pleiades star cluster, it's called the Seven Sisters, it's located in the constellation of Taurus. This is why we're connecting to it right now. Um, the Pleiadian agenda enhances spiritual development, raising consciousness, and attaining more harmony among the galactic races. The Pleiadian starseeds are visiting Earth to assist with the global ascension. You may be a Pleiadian soul, or you may have past life in, on the Pleiades. And the Pleiadian souls are natural healers, environmentalists, artists, visionaries, and humanitarians. So we're just starting to tune into our planet alignment with Alcyone, one of the seven sisters of the Pleiades. It opens an open pathway right to you. It's an open gateway right to you. And let's open and receive the powerful infusion of this lavender violet Pleiadian rays, Pleiadian light. Let the stream oh, into your being. Oh. It's, plan it's streaming into the planetary field. Just breathe deeply, receiving the Pleiadian light into your chakra channel. Receive all the blessings that the Pleiadian light is giving to us today. <clears throat> oh, yes. And those who are star seeds from the Pleiades, just open and ex receive the light to activate more of your Pleiadian bloodline and your home star blueprint to assist your ascension and activation of your light body, your Pleiadian light body. Those who are not of Pleiadian bloodline, just breathe the divine lavender light in. Breathe that Pleiadian ray in. <clears throat> it's helping support us. It's helping remind humanity of the larger galactic family. So it's assisting us in switching from living in separation and isolation to returning and uniting with our family of light. A galactic family of light. Ooh, yeah, I can feel that in the heart. Just let that open and activate within you. It's beautiful Pleiadian light rays. Ooh. Receiving their love, receiving their blessings, receiving their assistance and support. Our Pleiadian brothers and sisters are assisting us through the golden age of transformation. So just breathing in their love and support with gratitude. So not only are we activating our crystalline new foundation in the new earth, but we're receiving support from our galactic brothers and sisters, our family of light, as we move through this golden age of transformation. And so as you're receiving in this transfusion, beautiful light infusion, we're going to pause in silence for three to four minutes so everyone can focus on your own personal visions, dreams, goals, and intentions, especially setting them into this new foundation going into 2022. All right, so when you're visualizing what you need to support you in your ascension and your soul purpose and your soul service, your soul's joy and well-being, imagine you are already living it. So as you visualize it, feel it. So you're using both your visioning, mental and heart feeling, combining the two. Feel yourself living it already. Okay, we're going to go into silence so everyone has time to power up your personal intentions.
And as we set our personal intentions, giving it our love, giving him our light, we're in the vortex spin, so you're en entering them into the earth plane, grounding them, making them earthbound, like planting seeds in your garden. <sighs> Spinning in, grounding in, anchoring them into your crystal foundation in the new earth. Having them come alive in your heart, into your heart magnetism, making them real. Ooh, there we go. We set them into motion now. And so it is. And so it is. And now we're going to switch and work on planetary intentions, global intentions and activations. Good work, everyone. Oof, this is getting a very strong force field that we're working in. So again, as we're standing in the lunar eclipse, Pleiadian Gateway, let's fill the planetary field, the global grid, with this lunar eclipse illumination energy. So let's stream them all around the planet. Ah, <sighs> flooding the field with the lunar eclipse illumination energies. We command all that is ready to be revealed in the world to come into the light. Allow all that is ready to be released, let go into the light. Oof, focusing on Gaia, focusing on humanity, focusing on the planetary field. Oof, okay, there we go. We're starting to get a good strong wave of the eclipse energies all around the planet. Envision the planetary quantum vortex spinning anti-clockwise around the world. We're going to use that vortex to do some healings and clearings on the planet. It's a big, powerful quantum vortex spinning anti-clockwise around the planetary uh, globe. So as we're infusing the lunar eclipse energies into the field, we command these eclipse energies to remove unstable global foundations, systems, situations to unlock and release now. We're working with this full moon eclipse that is all about completion. So as we're streaming the powerful eclipse energies of completion into the planetary field, I'm going to go through some of the systems we are closing out. So as we go through each one, envision the powerful eclipse light dissolving that system. So we're envisioning the completion and dissolution of power imbalances. The dissolution of the patriarchal hierarchy. Dissolution of gender inequality. Dissolution of racism and white supremacy. Dissolution of religious persecution and dissolution of economic instability and unsafe living conditions. We blast these systems, we blast these structures with the Taurus lunar eclipse energies now <sighs> to dissolve and break apart and departiculate and release from the planetary field. We command all that does not serve and support all life on the planet to complete and release now. It is done. It is complete. It is over. We spin it out. We clear it out. We send it into source light for transmutation now. Whew. Oh, that's a good, strong, powerful wave. You guys are doing great. Whew. We are the light workers here to consciously raise the field, to consciously illuminate the field. Let's clean and purify Gaia's energy field with crystalline purification light. Whew. Ooh, that's so good. Yes, let's spread this brilliant lunar eclipse illumination of three and a half hours to shine all around the world like a long, slow camera exposure. <sighs> Revealing the truth in the light all around the world. Spreading the revealing light everywhere.
Whew. Ooh, that's good. Nothing can remain hidden. All shadow being revealed in the truth, in the light now. It's a purification light. It is the golden age of transformation. So now, as we're spinning the quantum vortex around the planet, let's introduce more of the Pleiadian violet light, lavender violet light infusion into the planetary field. Whew, yes, this Ple uh, Pleiadian lavender light is assisting with this golden age of transformation. Getting a lot of love and support and assistance from our galactic family. So let's help use that Pleiadian light to let go of what divides us and unite as one family of light. One galactic family of light. Whew. Ooh, that's shifting. We're spinning fast. We're in a very powerful chemical spin of transformation. Whew. Spinning out what's complete and beginning to illuminate what's replacing it. And vision Gaia becoming more stable on this crystalline grid foundation <clears throat> in the new Earth unity consciousness. Vision Gaia becoming more stable with this crystalline grid foundation. Whew. Envision the newer timeline becoming the new global foundation for all life on the planet. <sighs> and see yourself living in the newer timeline. Feeling what it feels like to have a safe, stable life in the newer timeline. <sighs> We're spinning fast. And the vortex around Gaia is spinning fast. We're anchoring our new Earth visions and intentions into Gaia's magnetic field, into Gaia's consciousness, into Gaia's crystalline grid. Ooh, there we go. Breathe it alive with love and light. And we set this into motion now. And so it is. Whew. So it is. And as we're standing on this stable global foundation, crystalline foundation, let's all take a moment to visit our starseed soul's original home star. You don't have to know where it is. You don't have to know the name of it. Just connect to your divine master soul presence, your soul frequency, and it your soul will take you to your home star. So we're bilocating one more time, dropping into our home star, connecting to our beloved soul family as they wrap their love around you. And inhaling in home starlight down your chakra channel into your heart crystal. Ah, breathe in, family love, home starlight. Let it fill you inside. Breathing in loving home energy into your being. You are so loved. You are not alone. Your soul family is with you always. As you breathe in home starlight, you are live inside with home energy wherever you go. Just very fast spin. Integrate all the blessings from your home star, from your beautiful soul family and collect any gifts that you're going to bring back with you to your life on Gaia and it can come in any shapes or forms or sizes it can come as crystals or light or knowledge or technology or new lifestyles just open and receive your soul gifts as you're bringing them inside you for the safe keeping during the journey back to Gaia 
Oh, this is to assist your own transformation and Gaia's transformation. Oh. So all is seated and coming alive inside us. We're getting ready for our journey back. Let's pop back into the galactic center, connecting with our escorts, Archangel Metatron and Archangel Michael for our journey back to Earth. We're bringing everything back with us as we start to go into the vortex spinning wormhole, traveling at the speed of light back to where your body is on Earth, bringing all that super consciousness back down your channel inside you, breathing in all the gifts, all the blessings inside your core, in your heart, ah, receiving in, open and receiving in. You can tap on your arms, your legs, as you're bringing it fully into your physical vessel where your feet are locked on Gaia. Ooh, making it earthbound, grounding it in, spinning it in, deep inside you, coming home inside you. Ooh, beautiful. Ooh. We're bringing that crystalline new earth back with us to live in unity consciousness and so now in the oneness of the I am presence we invoke the Divine Mother and Divine Father to stream the frequency of love into the heart flame of every being on earth filling and building the frequencies of love to all life on the planet we call for the birth of our new earth our new home in unity consciousness and we set this into motion now and so it is and so it is and so as we're continuing to ground in and anchor in both our personal intentions and global intentions we're going to open up to add in your beautiful global intentions focusing on more of Gaia and humanity so we can all give it our love and our light um, if you want to call in please dial one and we'll start with your emailed intentions coming back to Minette. Okay. Uh, first from our loyal Pia in Switzerland. May the human collective fully awaken to the truth, and may there be huge evolutionary change into the new earth timeline of unity consciousness, love, freedom, joy, abundance for all, well-being, health, and evolution for all. May this new earth timeline of unity consciousness be fully activated now and blossom in the most wonderful creations of divine creation. May everything be transformed into the highest unconditional love and light and may everything be healed that has to be healed. May everything, every being feel safe and protected. May there be mercy. I beg for mercy. Mm -hmm. And so it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, we set that into motion now, and so it is. Thank you, Pia. Thank you from Anastasia. Um, very simply, joy, prosperity, abundance, and peace. Ah, let's give it our love. We set this into motion all around the world, every heart of all life on the planet, and so it is. From Kylie, this is stated personally, but I'm sure this is something we all want, to release any blocks from abundance, to be supported in our healing and channeling of the Pleiadians, activate our light languages, and to pr be protected from all negative energies. Yes, we set that into motion now, while we're in this Pleiadian gateway, and so it is. So it is, from Debbie, <sighs> that world governments honor the earth and all her warriors who strive to honor love and heal her give them strength and keep their missions going mm, indeed we set that into motion and so it is so it is from scotty intention to heal the coral reefs and bring the mm. chemming of our planet to end well, that's some Taurus energy right there. Yes, healing the land, the oceans, the waves, the coral reefs. And so it is. It is. And then from Candace, 
awaken all leadership around the world to the light consciousness of truth. Oh, illuminating and truth. We set this into motion. And so it is. Oh, beautiful intentions. Wow. Okay. We didn't have a lot today, but they were laser focused. They are laser focused. We're doing some, some powerful work here today. Okay. I'm going to go to our callers. I don't have your name. I just have your phone number. So I'm going to call out the last four digits of your phone number. If you can give us your name, where you're calling in from, and then proclaim your global intention. As everyone's working together, let's give our, these intentions our love and light, like watering seeds in a garden. Okay, first caller is 7753. You're on the air. Oh, it's powerful today. Mm. Hello, everyone. This is Tiffany from Santa Cruz. Egg, Manette, thank you so much. Thank you, Tiffany. Oh, and deep, deep love, honor, and respect to our Palladian yes. brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for your service, your sacrifice, and your love, your immense love. We love you. Okay, so I want to energize the um, immediate New Earth timeline with help and healing, please, advanced technologies to restore the crystalline matrix and family of all fissures, fractures, misuse of technology from Atlantis to present, restoring that incredible communication and grid, Mm. and uh, dissolving of all nuclear waste landfill um, toxic waste dumps into a safe manner, replacing it with very advanced new technologies that are completely in harmony. And then secondly, a little further out, but in the near, near future, every school is a mystery school, and Mm. it's free for all and available to all. And we have telepathy, global telepathy, global empathy, connecting human to human, human to galactic, human to animal, human to plants, human to earth. We're all so connected in one heart, one mind. So grateful for today. Thank you so much. I love you all. Mm, Let's give this our love and blessings we set in motion now. And so it is. Thank you, Tiffany. We love you too. Uh, love, love, love. All right. Our next caller is uh, 1992. One, one, your last four digits, 1992. <clears throat> Hello. It's Carol in Pasadena. Hi, Carol. And um, I have such a personal collection, connection with both the moon and the Pleiadians. I had to <laughs> figure out a way to be here today. Um, what I what I want to offer uh, into the collective is relief from overwhelm. This mm-hmm. last few years has just been even pri- even longer than two years and so overwhelming. And so many people I know, including myself, still feel this oppressive overwhelm. And may we find relief from that mm-hmm. so we are freed up and able to get on with our collective unity mission. Mm-hmm. And... Um, and also wellness for everybody, just collective wellness. Okay, we're giving that our love and our light, planting those seeds in the field. We set this into motion now, and so it is. Oh, thank you, Carol. Powerful. Oh, my gosh, so so powerful energies today. Wow. Okay, those are our calls. Let's go back to Minette. Any remaining Emails. I'm going to give it a quick refresh to double check. One more from Athena. Okay. My global intention is for the children of the world to be surrounded always in love and light, to be safe, cared for, listened to, and recognized and respected for the sacred beings that they are. May we all learn to listen. Oh, set that into motion now. And so it is. It's beautiful intentions. We have another caller. Hold on. Look, it's uh, 1797. You're on the air. Hi, thank you, Meg. This is Heather in Colorado. Hi, Heather. My intention is that all the bodies, the human bodies, but all the bodies are released from all the intergenerational trauma, all of the 
layers and layers and layers and it's being passed down and down and down. May they be all released to the light and cleared and all the bodies return to the divine light that they are. We set that into motion now. This is very physical Taurus energy, very powerful right now. Just breathe that in, and then we spread it around the field. And so it is. So it is. Thank you, Heather. This is visceral, physical work we're doing right now. Okay, back to you, Manette. No more no. email. Okay, a couple in the um, huh? chat room. <laughs> sorry, just as I said. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I just got one um, from Tamara. May all beings receive the energy of peace, love, joy, solution, harmony, open to their gifts for the earth, new earth, and share joyously. May all the waters be cleansed and cleared and purified, and may the earth be renewed and upgraded to provide pure, nutritious food for all. May all beings be supported in their highest, purest energy. Okay, giving it our love and light. We set this into motion now all around the globe. And so it is. And then from Kim in our chat room, may we all let go of what was. Allow our hearts to embrace what will be. Just opening to receive in the blessings coming into us, all that our beloved galactic family are sending us. Breathe in. All that will be. Set that into motion. And so it is. Oh, what a powerful force field we got here. Whoa. Okay. So just um, we can stay in this energy all day. Continue to feed it your visions and your intentions. Uh, it's very fertile and, and receptive. So we'll continue to add more. But for now, let's go ahead and do our final invocation. Ooh. On this sacred day of global healing and rebirth, we connect to the rising swell of Christ consciousness filling the hearts and minds of all souls around the world. And as we unite in the Divine Trinity, we create a balanced and united universal planetary sanctuary for all to ascend now and ease and grace and harmony through all levels to that which cannot be named to the silence, the stillness which allows all this to be. Leave only the truth now, the truth of our realized divinity. And with the power of God, Goddess, that we all are, we now speak the word and set this into motion now. And so it is. So it is. So it is. <sighs> what? A powerful pulsing field. Okay, thank you everyone for joining us and contributing to building this powerful wave all around the planet. It is really visceral. It's very earthy, very earthbound, and we can continue to plant our seeds today. Oh my goodness, and we will be meeting up in two weeks for the other eclipse, which is a solar eclipse in Sagittarius on December 4th. We hope you can join us that day. We'll continue to do our work with this powerful eclipse energy. It's very um, impactful. It's uh, very transformational. Um, so hope to see you then. But until then, we're sending our love to all of you. Oh, we love you. We thank you for joining us. And we will see you soon again. Bye for now, everyone. Bye for now. Bye-bye.